Hello and welcome to Tech Mojo. My name is Stuart and today I'm going to show you how to set up a RAM disk. Now, before we get into it, I want to benchmark my normal hard drive and you'll see why as uh, towards the end of the video. So, open crystal disk mark um, and then 2 passes 500 meg and then I'm going to check a drive that isn't in use which is the G drive just uh, give it its best chance and then click all and then I'll just set that aside uh, and you'll see why towards the end of the video now the product that I'm using is from a company called Gillysoft um, because their RAM disk is just fucking awesome really um, I can't fault it um, I've only used it once and that was about an hour before I decided to record this video because the speeds are phenomenally fast let's put it this way a normal hard drive will run between like 120 150 megabyte per second read and write a solid state drive will run between 300 and 500 megabyte per second. RAM disk runs at 3.5 gigabits per second. Not megabits, gigabits. We're talking 3000 megabit per second plus. Um, now the reason for that is uh, it runs off your physical memory inside your computer, which already is fantastically fast. Um, so much so, uh, it's actually a lot faster than solid state drives. And, and the only downfall is RAM is very expensive. I mean, DDR3, 8 gig of it is still selling for about £80 plus. Uh, DDR4, again, you're looking at about £100 plus. It's very, very expensive in comparison to solid state drives where you can pick up a 128 gig for around 40 quid. You see what I'm getting at. But when it comes to production or gaming, you can't go wrong. So, this is the one I use. Uh, there is a trial version available and it is about $40 to buy. Um, I do have the full version because I bought it yesterday. How far is uh, benchmark? It's not fantastic. Right, anyway, uh, install it as you would normally and then go ahead and open it up. Uh, create a new RAM disk and set its file system, drive letter, disk size, blah, 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 blah. Yes, next. NTFS, it's going to be the X drive. 8192. There we go. Let's try that. Uh, so, the path, create an image. Yes. Uh, Adobe RAM disk because I will be installing uh, all my Adobe products on it that'll be like After Effects, Premiere, Photoshop and Audition um, because earlier when I installed this program earlier and then uninstalled it to show you how it's done um, I exported a 4K 10 minute long video in under one minute one minute on a normal hard drive that used to take me for fucking ever we're, we're talking like an hour plus and then under a minute you know fantastic so saving data in the ram disk now the device is busy now please try again later What was that all about? Because it's showing up. There it is. 
all eight gig of it. No, it didn't come up earlier. Oh well. So while it's up, um, where's the options? There it is auto load image mounted last time. Save the image when restart or shut down. And execute sleep or standby. Back up the image before saving it and back up the image in real time and let's just click apply okay and that one is just about and then save or delete the image you can go ahead and close that now so i'll try to reopen crystal disk there we go so it's the same two passes 500 meg but this time on the awesome drive now watch what happens when i click start and go now if you've got enough memory in your computer oh, fuck me 4.5 gigabits <laughs> If you've got enough memory in your computer, say if you've got something along the lines of 64 gig memory quad channel, get this program, uh, set aside 50 gig, and then install your favorite game on it, and it will work effortlessly. I mean, there'll be zero effort involved um, in playing that game, uh, it'll use absolutely next to no resource. Yeah, frame rate or skyrocket. I mean, because there is literally zero bottleneck. Because usually your hard disk or your solid state is the bottleneck in most modern computers now, um, because the technology hasn't kept up with uh, other hardware and computer like processors of memory and video cards. So uh, the bottleneck is completely eliminated and the only bottleneck you'll suffer now will come either from your processor or GPU. <laughs> 4.5 gigabits read 5.4 gigabits right. That is fucking insane. And you know what? I'm going to do a print screen of that. <laughs> oh, that's getting posted on Facebook later. But the downside with this is if your computer is turned on and off on a regular basis, like you turn it on in the uh, morning and you turn it off at night, or if you turn it on and off a bit more frequently, the boot up times and uh, shutdown times are significantly increased because it has to save the image of the RAM disk back to a, another source like your hard disk or your solid state. Oh, nose is itchy. Um, but that and RAM being volatile in that if you have a sudden power loss in your computer all the data on that disk is gone it's eliminated uh, so unless you have a backup image um, then you're going to lose it so don't put anything on there that you're not willing to lose like uh, important documents or pictures or anything like that it's just not worth it I mean I'm going to use this uh, 8 gig specifically just to run my Adobe products just to help increase productivity um, eventually I will probably double up my memory and get 32 gig in there um, that way I can run my music editing software as well um, but for now <laughs> that's just phenomenally quick <laughs> fucking hell you know if I had to say you know if you've got the money jump on your unicorn or ostrich fly to your nearest computer shop just say here's my money give me as much memory as i can fit into my 
motherboard and go back and set one of these up because you're not going to get a faster disk in your computer than utilizing the memory that's in there. <sighs> right, I'm going to end this video now and I'm going to stop rabbiting on. Um, this is Tech Mojo. If you've liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment as well if you fancy it as well. Um, if you didn't like this video, well, fuck you. <laughs> My name is Stuart and I will say cheerio and toodle pip.